you have an iPhone, then you know you have the technology to take great photos and videos. But there are some things you might not know about your iPhone camera. You can line up your shots properly by going to Settings, Photos and Camera, and switching on the grid. If your headphones are plugged in, you can use the volume buttons to snap a photo or start recording a video. Or you can treat your iPhone like a point-and-shoot camera by using the volume buttons on the side as a shutter button. You can make your shot as bright or as dark as you want it to be by tapping on the screen to focus and scrolling up or down on the slider to the right to manually adjust your exposure. You can also lock your focus and exposure levels by pressing and holding down on the screen. For the perfect selfie or pictures with moving objects that are difficult to capture, press and hold the shutter button to enable burst mode, which takes 10 photos per second. These photos are saved within one file, and your iPhone can even detect the best shots taken from the burst. You can also set a timer for 3 or 10 seconds to give yourself some time to properly frame your shot or selfie. Take better looking still shots by turning on HDR, or High Dynamic Range. With HDR turned on, your iPhone takes three photos in a row and combines them to create one photo with the best possible lighting. Zooming in in the camera app actually reduces the quality of your photo or video, so don't do it. All you're doing is stretching out the photo and making it grainier. And if you're taking a photo in a dark space, using the flash will lead to an okay photo. But if you borrow a friend's iPhone, turn on the flashlight, and light your subject at a different angle, your photo will look significantly better this way.